Hi, Cancer. How are you guys? Welcome back to Clarity Goddess Tarot. Thank you for tuning in. If you would like to book a personal reading, you can contact me at claritygoddesstarot at gmail.com, okay? Um, also, if you don't need a full reading and maybe you just have one or two questions you need clarity on, you can do that as well, okay? So everything you need to know about booking a personal is below in the description box, okay? So do check that out before you send your email. All right, now let's get started. You guys know this is a general message, which means it may or may not resonate with you, okay? So we'll um, touch over here on the past really quickly to the left. So we have the Page of Swords, the Five of Swords Reverse, the King of Swords, and the Star card. Some of you definitely could have been dealing with an air sign here, okay? A Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, particularly an Aquarius for others of you, you know, um, or regardless of whatever sign it was, uh, somebody got cut out here, okay? This connection got cut off. There was probably too many mind games going on, okay? Mental conflict, confusion, and someone ultimately did what was best for them, okay? With the Five of Swords Reversed. Um, but you know, the page of swords, this is someone who can also be a liar. Okay. And a stalker. All right. So there probably was some stalking going on between you and this person, but you know, and that won't resonate for everyone, but ultimately, you know, someone cut the cords here. Okay. Maybe there was just, um, too much emotional detachment going on. Um, you see all that blue in those cards. To me, that represents cold energy a little bit, okay? So, yeah, this connection went cold here. And ultimately, someone did what was best for them and decided they need to focus on their healing, okay, with a star card. So, um, let's move here into the current energy uh, here in the center, which represents the collective. So, basically, where the connection stands as of now. So, we've got the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the devil reversed and also the magician reversed. Yeah, so this was pretty toxic, okay, for some of you. I think a lot of you have began to come out of this. And then others of you, either you're still feeling left out in the cold here or this person is, okay? This person could live at a distance too because of the eight of wands. It may uh, require you to travel in order to see them. This also represents communication too, okay? So some of you um, could be waiting to hear from them or uh, reach out or vice versa, okay, guys? But ultimately, this connection, someone's still feeling like this is a burden here, okay, with the Ten of Wands. This is about um, tough lessons and just issues here, okay? Someone, it just feeling like it's too much on someone's plate here, okay, dealing with this situation, all right? Again, because it could have been toxic, it may still be toxic for some of you, all right? With the Devil card, you could be dealing with a Capricorn here too, okay? But it's about toxicity, all right? Narcissism, control, addiction, you know, unhealthy attachments. And um, I see a lot of, I'm feeling a lot of lusty sexual energy that you uh, felt between you and this person and attraction here, okay, with the Queen of Wands. But, you know, some of you here, I feel like this person may want to rush in with communication with the Eight of Wands and you've gotten your confidence back, okay, with the Queen of Wands. This is someone who's very attractive, beautiful, and um, sexy and, again, confident. So you may not want to deal with this anymore. Like I said, somebody did a lot of healing here and um, is now in their power again, okay? Uh, they've gotten their mojo back, so to speak. So you could be leaving them out in the cold if they come back, all right? Not really wanting to be bothered with this anymore, okay? With the, um, the Five of Pentacles, all right? Because this person may still be sneaky, actually, because we have the, uh, the Magician reversed, so, so this is someone who's um, a trickster, all right? A manipulator, a trickster does and says whatever they can, you know, in order to get what they want from people, okay? So yes, do be aware of that energy, okay, Cancer? Now, let's step up here at the top, all right? So this can represent your energy or theirs, all right? It could be you at the top, them at the bottom, a bit of both, all right? Do um, just take it how it resonates with you. So we got the temperance. You could be dealing with a Sag here, okay? Sagittarius. We also have the Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, the uh, Knight of Wands reverse and the Three of Wands reverse. So there's still blockages going on here, but others of you, I feel like you're still making progress regardless, okay? Whether you're um, still in contact with this person or not, okay? Again, you did healing and got your confidence back with that Temperance card. This is about, um, you know, being very patient and just grounded, okay? Feeling very peaceful here. Some of you may have a settlement or some sort of windfall or a inheritance or, you know, an insurance claim or something that's getting ready to come through for you, okay? And you have options here as well. Some of you could be uh, debating on buying a new home is also what I see, all right? Um, but yeah, the Seven of Cups, this is about options. So you could be needing to choose between something here, uh, whether to um, stay where you live currently or to move, okay? Now, that won't resonate with everyone, but I am seeing that. Others of you, this um, Seven of Cups is about confusion, okay? Because the Seven of Cups, it represents confusion as well as options. So 
this connection, you know, could still have some of you confused here or either this person, all right? Because someone here is just not consistent. With the Knight of Wands, this is very in and out energy, okay? Someone who is non-committal, all right? And, um, you know, makes hasty, impulsive decisions as well. And there's still blockages here, okay? Some of you also could have been waiting for this person for a while and they just have not come through, okay? With the, uh, the three of uh, Wands reversed, all right? So yeah, there's still blockages here, okay, guys? But... Let's move down here to the bottom. Okay, this energy down here. We got the Nine of Swords, the Six of Cups reversed, the Ace of Swords reversed, the Eight of Pentacles reversed, and the Ace of Pentacles reversed. So yeah, this has been a missed opportunity for someone here, mainly because someone here is not speaking their truth. Okay, the Ace of Swords is all about truth and clarity. Okay, and someone's not speaking up on that and um, not communicating. Okay, so it could be someone from your past as well with this Six of Cups. You could have had children with this person. Somebody here is still stuck in the past is also what I'm seeing. Because we had the Nine of Swords. This is about overthinking, anxiety, fear, okay? And just um, a lot of heavy mental energy here because it's something about your past that you cannot release or let go of, okay? And there's blockages here, blockages with speaking your truth or being honest here, maybe about how you feel or how this has affected you, all right? Or this could be this person, okay? Maybe they just can't let you go here and they're still not speaking up and saying anything, okay? But somebody here is not putting forth the effort or working on this connection anymore, okay? With this eight of uh, pentacles being reversed, you definitely could be dealing with an earth sign here, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, all right, so there's, again, blockages. Now, let's move over here into the potential outcome energy. So we have the Knight of Cups reversed, the Seven of Swords reversed, the Five of Cups reversed, the Three of Pentacles reversed, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Chariot. Yeah, so somebody here is definitely moving on, okay? Moving on, moving forward victoriously because that Chariot does represent willpower, okay? Strength, knowing exactly what you want and what you need to do and just moving on with your life, okay? And this is... Uh, you know, this could very well be your energy, okay, Cancer, because we do have the chariot, that's your card. So, you know, I'm seeing someone here being very um, independent and single, okay, and really shining, okay, with that nine of pentacles, that's someone who's, again, confident, um, able to stand on their own two feet, all right, and just uh, beautiful, okay, maybe in a, even an entrepreneur. So some of you could be working on some entrepreneurial ideas is also what I see. So yeah, that's about victory, okay, guys, but others of you, you know, this situation, this person could be wanting to come back and maybe tell you that they're sorry here, okay, with the uh, Seven of Swords reversed. So regardless of the fact, somebody here was very sneaky, all right? That's what this card is about, sneakiness, lying, deceiving people, running off, you know, and just not being 100, okay? Being a fake, a fraud. And they could be coming back to maybe speak their truth or to, again, um, confess is what I'm saying. Because they may want forgiveness, all right, with that five of cups reversed. But ultimately, I don't think you really want to work on this anymore, okay, Cancer? Or either they don't. And there's also some jealousy going on here, too, okay, with that knight of cups reversed. So we'll just have to see how this pans out, okay, guys? So if that was resonating, go ahead and um, comment, like, share. Also, if you would like to book, you know, a personal reading, or you need, um, you know, clarity on a couple questions or whatnot, do go ahead and email me at claritygoddesstarot at gmail.com and check out all the, um, you know, the the info, or not the info, but the um, directions, okay, in the description box. So thank you guys and take care.